Okay, so this is going to be Phantom Train, Second Violins. This is your first pass off. And we're going to go from measure nine to the downbeat of 24. So we're going to end here. We're starting here. Let's talk through it. Okay, first of all, do you see how you have accents here? That means those notes will have definite space. Here, make sure you're counting correctly and that you're just you're prepared to just have two beats of rest and then come in. Be strong in those rests because the cello bass plays on the downbeat. Now, I've written in all of the low twos and all of the fours and opens, and I want you to do the same. So in measure 12, E, F, F natural. Remember to center it. Don't squeeze it. Center your two. And this symbol is a half step symbol. And so it means that those fingers are going to be close. That's what this symbol means. So you draw the symbol and the low two. Going on in measure 14, we're going to play open A. Fourth finger is not better. It's actually not the right fingering in this, in this case. So use open A. Then in measure 16, also open A. If you play fourth finger, it actually makes it harder. So I will consider that a wrong note if you play fourth finger. Okay, going on. We have another low two on the F natural. Draw the half step marking. Most important thing about the half step is that it comes to a point. All right, that's a half step marking. It looks very different from a slur. In measure 20, the first A will be played fourth finger since we're already on the D string. And then we're gonna switch to open A, the second half of the bar. In 21, stay on open A. 22, it's still an open A. 23, mark your low two for C natural. Draw your half step. Remember that it has to come to a point here at the bottom. Open A, and we're ending on the B. 